We all know water is a valuable resource and Australia is one of the most driest continents in the world. Few Australians value water more than our farmers who produce our food and fibre. Northern Victoria, where my family and I farm, takes in the most intensely irrigated region of the country. We all know water is vital for our livelihood. Hi, my name's Rick Cross and for more than 20 years I've been dairy farming in Talamba. There have been a lot of changes in farming during this time. One of the biggest has been how irrigators like me manage water day to day and season to season. Water has always been precious, but today it has a real dollar value. It has become a commodity that can be bought, sold and traded to get the most productive use out of this resource. As an irrigator, you first look to the sky for water. You then look to rural water corporations who capture the rainfall and runoff, store the water in dams and deliver it by river, gravity, pipe or channel where and when you need it. We've joined with Victoria's water resource managers, including Golden Murray Water, to produce this series of videos on water management. They are helpful guides to the terms used in water management and the best way to make the most of every drop. As an irrigator, your water share is a right to the water held in dams for irrigation. The water shares you hold, usually measured in megalitres, are your ongoing entitlement to this stored water. It can be helpful to think of a water share as an empty bucket. If 100% allocation applies to the share, you can have a full bucket of water delivered to your farm. If 50% allocation applies, you can order half a bucket of water. A water share doesn't automatically entitle the owner to water. It must first have a volume of water allocated to it, which happens via a seasonal determination. If there is sufficient water in the dams, then water share owners are entitled to all of the water they own or their full volume of entitlement. This is called having a 100% seasonal determination. In dry seasons, it may not be possible to allocate 100% of water shares. A seasonal determination will then be set for each water system that will determine the percentage of water available for a period of time. For example, a 50% seasonal determination. Seasonal determinations are regularly updated by a government appointed resource manager who uses inflow, storage volume and historical data to determine the seasonal determination to ensure water is shared fairly. I've already described water as a commodity and anyone can own water shares. Ownership can be transferred by solicitor, water broker or by private means. Anyone can also trade their water share and the current allocation that applies to it. This flexibility to allow for the transfer or trade of water allows market forces to help manage water. In other words, it allows those buckets of water to be delivered to where they are needed most at a given time or where demand is highest. This flexibility also helps irrigators to manage their farming enterprise from season to season and make decisions that best suit their individual circumstances. We'll explore the topics of allocation and water trade further in this video series, as well as the flexibility of trading water from one season to the next.